cancelled campaigning, an emergency news conference, a lot of drama in the last 24 hours. What have we learned? I mean, it was a chaotic morning. Basically, Fion came out today and said, I'm going to stay in no matter what, even if I'm, I'm charged with misuse of public funds, uh, I, I'm staying in. And uh, he essentially sought to rally his base by saying uh, the uh, judicial uh, inquiries are irregular and as amount to a, a, a political attack on him. Who's smiling this morning, Macron or Le Pen? It's really, it's really tough to say. I mean, ultimately, both of them for now. But uh, we're talking to pollsters, and they say, just hang on. I mean, if, and we're talking to people in, in, in the country who feel frustrated, who want to discuss issues, and feel that this has been taken over by uh, investigations and ju judicial procedures. Uh, you know, you hear some people saying, well, I'm going to vote Le Pen because of that anger. And you, you hear other people uh, ready, ready, more happily ready to, to support Macron. We'll have to see what happens in the polls in the coming days. Mark, do we have the same issue that we had, say, in the United Kingdom with the Brexit referendum in the United States with the race between Hillary Clinton and President Trump, that ultimately people didn't show their hands when they were asked by pollsters how they intended to vote? Do you have that issue in France as well? Well, I mean, I think we can debate how accurate the polls were both in the UK and the US and, and how accurate they are here. I think that what links, you know, whatever the link that everyone is looking for uh, in, in France with those two situations is the simple anger that, of voters. And, the, and is the anger of, of, of voters strong enough to overturn everything uh, and essentially uh, go, for, go for a Le Pen presidency, uh, which would be dramatic uh, economically and uh, especially for, for European policy and the euro?